Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? This is your girl, Precious. I am back with another video. As a matter of fact, y'all not going to believe this. Actually, you probably would, but I am heading to... <laughs> I'm headed to <laughs> orientation for another job. And honestly, I have another orientation tomorrow. So I'm going to bring you all along and allow you, uh, I'm going to try to bring you guys along to see what orientation is like. So. Here we go. Make sure you all like, subscribe, and share. Also, um, guys, let me tell you something. When you become a nurse and all this, all these jobs out here and all this money is out here, it's like it's hard to stay at one job. But then again, it's not. It's because it's kind of like you have to find where it is that you want to be, what makes you happy. And every job you go on doesn't make you happy. And you shouldn't be at a job where you're just there and you hate getting up and going. I've had jobs in the past where I loved getting up and going to work. And I kind of feel like that's where I'm at. I'm trying to find that place. Um, again, I still have not left my main job. Um, and matter of fact, I worked there yesterday, um, yesterday morning, and then over the weekend, I was doing overnight. Um, but yeah, um, and then I, I pick up agency um, shifts. Um, I'm with Shift Key, Shift Med, Nurse Dash, and um, Clipboard. And honestly, the reason why I pick up some of those shifts because I want to see what it's like being in those environments. Because if I honestly like it, I will apply to the job. And I'll work there. I'm used to having jobs where I'm more, you know, stable. Um, I worked at a cancer center for like five years. That was just before I went back to, uh, went to school to become a nurse. Um, I used to be a medical assistant. I'm not sure if I ever told you guys that, but I should do a video on it. I was a medical assistant for 12 years, and honestly, it was awesome because, you know, the pay was decent. It was my first real job. I had a daughter um, whom I was taking care of, so it helped me take care of her. It helped me take care of my bills. So being a medical assistant, you know, and anybody out there that's watching this and you guys want to, you know, know more about medical assistant, I can definitely tell you, like I said, I did that 12 years. I worked in and out of doctor's offices. But like I said, my last job as a medical assistant, I stayed there like five years. Loved it. Loved it. It. Um, and yeah, and I think it kind of prepared me and had me like ready to become a nurse because a lot of times the patients thought I was a nurse anyways. And I kept telling them, listen, I don't get nurses pay. So yeah, I'm not a nurse. Um, but a lot of stuff I knew in advance before becoming a nurse. Now, a lot of people always say, oh, you should, um, not saying me, but people in general should become a CNA before becoming a nurse, so you can know, you know, what it's really like. But I can't, I can't say that's true. Um, I never worked as a CNA. However, I applaud those who are CNAs. Y'all are definitely the backbone um, of the hard work that you know guys put in. I'm one of the nurses. I appreciate it. And so when I am on the floor with you guys, I don't mind helping. I really don't mind helping. Um, but that's only if I have the time. If I have the time, usually I make uh, I make the time. I, like I said, I have my CNAs back because usually they'll have my back. And then my eyes and ears. So we got to have some sort of uh, uh, communication and relationship. Um, and you know, we're going to make the day go by smoothly. You know, they got my back. 
I may not have to, you know, write up a report for a fall. Anyways, that's off the subject, but I'm just saying um, to each his own, whether you go to school for a CNA or medical assistant first before becoming a nurse, both of them are good and great, and you can make plenty of money in it. Um, so, anywho, let me finish getting dressed, because I want to stop by Chick-fil-A, grab a bite to eat um, before I go and sit in this six hour five hour orientation because i don't know what it's gonna consist of i don't know if i'm sitting there watching videos or if we're gonna actually you know do a little work on the floor or you know do a tour i don't know but i want to be prepared and i definitely don't want to be hungry walking and touring about this building so you guys i'll be back let me get dressed and i might see y'all when i get in the car or i might see y'all once i get to um, my orientation. Right. See you soon. Okay, guys, I'm back um, from my orientation. It did not last before, thank God. Um, but everything went smooth. They just went over, you know, all the policies, procedures, and all this paperwork and whatever you gotta sign, which is cool. I didn't have to watch those videos. Um, Everybody seems straight, nice, or whatever. Um, so, yeah. I think I may like it. We're going to see. I hope I may like it. They pay me decent. They pay me well. Let me just put it like that. They pay me more than my current job or my main job. And um, so, yeah. Hopefully, by next week, I will start um, my first day of training on the job. It looked like they're trying to turn over a new leaf. They're trying to get all the negative people or nurses or whomever out and in with the positive and teamwork and team player and who wants to work and that type of thing. So we'll see. And I'll keep you guys posted. Again, I have a, another orientation tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. And then the crazy thing about it is while I was there, I received a phone call. I didn't answer it, but I listened to the voice message. And it's from this new assistant living facility that's open. And I had already called them and left a voice message, but they just not calling me back, I guess, for an interview or whatever. So I may give them a call, too. We're going to see, because Precious is going to find her place. Anyway, so right now uh, I'm at Walmart. I just pulled in to the auto center because my uh, car, like the, the front brakes are like squealing very, very bad. And um, out here in Houston, we drive too fast for that. So uh -uh, I need my junk working at all times. So I'm stopping by Walmart just to see if they can take a look at it and see it. Um, if I need to schedule an appointment or whatever, but I do need to get I'm sweating. I need to get um, an oil change, um, like my brakes check and my AC check. It got hot. It's 76 degrees right now in Houston, and the last couple of days we've been cold, cold, cold. So I wasn't tripping about my AC going out. But anywho, hopefully I can get all this resolved. I know it might not get resolved today, but. Just know that I'm working on it. So let me go in here, check that out, and uh, I'll be back. Hey, you guys. So I made it home. I took the dog out. Uh, I was about to take the trash out, but she's going to take the trash out. Mama, stop. <laughs> Anywho. You gonna eat the chicken and uh, make us a, a little chips and cheese? Huh? I don't want no chips and cheese. Oh, keep that in mind. When I'm eating mine, don't look <laughs> over and it's like, I'm about to go make me some. Uh-uh. None of that. Anywho, you guys, guess what? I've been gone from YouTube so long. Don't post this video. I forgot to tell. You guys, well, y'all knew I was getting ready to move because I was looking, looking at all those different apartments and houses and stuff. So anyway, we finally moved. If you notice, my background looks a little different. 
Yeah, kitchen do too. Kitchen do too. I love this right here. Uh, anyway, we're not done decorating, nor are we done uh, with our boxes. Okay. For instance, there's one. There's one. There's one. And we don't have our table. I got rid of that table. I left that table right there at the apartment. And so oh, that ain't going in the video. we gonna I yes it is. So we're gonna get another one. Next one, and that's gonna be our dining room. So anywho, besides me moving, what else I had going on? Oh, we finally got the kids enrolled in school. So had that going on. Yeah, I just had a lot going on. I've been gone with about a month. I've probably been off of YouTube about a month. Or so. So yeah. Anyway, so today was my daughter's first day of school. Don't put me in it. And she's about to tell me about it, you guys. But she don't want to tell me on camera, so. There's nothing to tell. I took an SAT test for five <laughs> hours. After that, I went to lunch. And then I went to a uh, history class. And we didn't do nothing in there. They got a test tomorrow, though. What you mean, they? Why you ain't got it? Oh, because you ain't been in class. Uh, because we don't, Mama, we are so, I was so far behind. And, um, Northbrook, they was in period six. They going into period eight. Next oh, Monday. the, you talking about, uh, you a sister? Mm-hmm. Okay. They are in World War II. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's where you, that's where you at. Anyway, she's talking about how she's behind. My seven-year-old, he started his new school last week. He was only out of school one, two, only two days, because he went Wednesday, right? No, no, no. He went Thursday and Friday last week. So, anyways, today makes day five for him. Yeah, he's been in school, his new school. So, they're getting adjusted. We're all getting adjusted to our new home and our, our new everything, jobs and schools and Location, period. It was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I forgot. Anyway, so while I was in Walmart, you know, everybody been talking about these lately. And I must say, let me taste. I must say, it is mm -mm good. I think, uh, was Gina, Janine, she talks about it. Um, what's your other girl name? She went to fan you. What is that? It's called Celsius. Uh, they say it's an a, a energy drink. But get a swig. it's really good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. It says it um, essential energy. It says accelerates metabolism. I need that. And what else does it say? Ooh. You like it? <coughs> I Ooh. like it. And it burns body fat. This is the, the peach vibe. I definitely tasted that. And uh, apparently it says sparkle, sparkling white peach edition. So I don't know if this won't be in long. I don't know. On the shelves long. But I picked it up mm -hmm. after seeing Miss Lovely TV. She had it. And um, yeah. Honestly, I thought they was over-exaggerating how good it was. But y'all, it's really good. Y'all should try it. Go pick it up at Walmart. I think it's on the soda aisle with the energy drinks are. So anyway, let me put it in the refrigerator because it's not even cold. I got it off the shelf and popped it open and drunk it because it's, it's kind of cool, but it ain't cold. I'm going to put it in the freezer for a little bit. All right, what time is it? Cause I got to go pick up my son from school. It's three hey, I need you to take out that train. Like, I was supposed to send you a text. Oh, uh, you can put it out there in the garage. I was supposed to text you early this morning and tell you to take that train out. Right? As soon as you got home and take the dog out to pee and, 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 and feed him. Like. I don't know, but you still can feed him, get him some, get put him dry food down first. And then put them some wet food. This is wet food right here. Oh, I thought you were telling them. Oh, I ain't telling nobody. We roll. Is it just me or do y'all uh 
feed y'all dog dry food and put wet food on top. I do. Nobody don't want no dry mess. I know I don't. So anyway, we'll put that in the refrigerator for me too. Matter of fact, put that in the freezer. No, matter of fact, I'm going to take this with me so I can have something to drink while I'm in the car. Alright. So I'm going to go get my son. I'm going to go get my baby girl. Then I'm going to come home and get out of these clothes. Y'all, I'm about to get out of these clothes. Y'all, my little blue scrubs today. Y'all, I ain't going to show y'all my house, but guess what? I'm going to do another video. It's going to be a, a, a video tour. Oh, shoot. I need keys. A video tour at home. Um, it's it's going to be with without, you know, our furniture and stuff when we first walked in and what we saw. It's going to be a little short video of our home. So, anyway, let me get out of this house. I'm so happy and proud of my, my little bathroom because the colors I use, look at uh, hold on. It's the little peach and white, peach and white gone, peach and white, got a little peach in there. This is our, this is our half bath. And I actually, God dang, I didn't even think to do that. I didn't buy a, uh, you know how you put the little the little cover that go on the stool top? I was just at Walmart and I didn't even buy one. I didn't even think to. Know. But I gotta make sure I match the colors. Just right. Yeah. Who? Who going to McDonald's? Honey, let me tell you something. You better eat what your brother gonna eat when I get back here. Um, I'm making him hot dogs. Or you can eat a corn dog. Who about to cook? The only thing I'm about to cook is dinner when I get back. Period. <laughs> Alright, come out the door. Can't okay, get out. Alright. Hell, I'll be back. Let me get one. Come out the door. I'm about to go get my son, but y'all like my little. Look at this. This is home, sweet home. I thought this was so cute. And I got it from, I got it from Burlington. Um, it was about $16.99, but guess who, guess who else sells them? Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 store. They sell them. Um, they don't look just like that, but the, the, the letters about the same size. Mm, the length of it is about the same size, but like the colors or whatever may be different. They have like spring colors and uh but yeah you should go look at it because i definitely went to a couple of dollar trees trying to find one and all of them was gone every time i get in the car they playing this song all right let me turn it on um dang it i don't want to get there too early Let me go pick up a baby girl and then go pick up a baby boy. Just so I can waste a little time. The radio be wearing out little songs. But anyway, what I was saying was, I need to put my phone on the charger. <laughs> but no, they, um, ooh, y'all hear my brakes? Horrible. Like, why are you stopping in the middle of the road? Look, a lady got out of the car and just stopped in the middle of the road. Anyway, kind of just rolled my eyes at them. Had no reason to, but can't stand when people do stupid, stupid stuff. Y'all can barely see me, so I'm about to, um, I'm about to call y'all back. Peace. I'll be back.
afternoon y'all it's the next day i went to my orientation um at the second job and um it started off a little slow but then um someone came in we had to do a drug test right then and then later on we did like a stack of paperwork but I honestly think I may like this place. Let me turn this radio. I think I'm going to like this place. Um, it's skilled nursing. Um, everybody seems cool down to earth. Um, I don't know that's, if that's how they really are or that's how they are with new people just to get them on. And then they show their true colors. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Um, I took it on as PRN just as i did yesterday i took that job on sprn so now i have a whole bunch of prn jobs i can select and go to whichever one i feel like going to um i have two jobs that's 12 hour shifts which i do not prefer and then the other ones are all eight hour shifts so more than likely the eight hour shifts will be the ones that i pick up um again 12 hour shifts they great for some and not for others but for me i prefer to do eight and go home because if i'm doing a 12 hour shift by the time i get to the eighth hour um mentally i'm not there so yeah um i think i'm gonna like it and so monday not monday but tuesday i go there and start my training um, I'm going to go ahead and do two days there, and then the job that I signed on with yesterday, I'm going, I think I'm going to pick up with them next week, and go ahead and do two to three days, and at that point, I'm going to really kind of determine which one I like, or like the most, and then I think I'm going to go on full time with somebody, so we'll see, I, the only reason why I'm doing the PRN, for one, um, I do like to make my own schedule, but two, um, I like to be available for, you know, my family, my kids, um, whether I have to schedule doctor's appointments or what, whatever they got going on, I want to be available. Um, and then the other reason is I have a new adventure. Um, hopefully I get to start it this year. I can't tell y'all what it is yet, but I will once I get it up and going, but, um, yeah, I just like to be available and move around the way I like to move around. So, like I said, we'll see. Um, but I do think I'm going to take one of them, one of these PRN jobs. I am going to start it full time sooner than later. Because um, they, they're doing sign-on bonuses, $5,000. I want it. Um, and, but that's not the only reason. It's just like I've been looking for the place that I feel like it may not feel like work, but you're actually working. I mean, only because you're you're around good people with good vibes and, you know, that type of thing. So, we'll see, and I'll keep you guys up to date. But until then, um, it's about time for me to go pick up my son from school. So, I'm going ahead and go get in that line. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. I appreciate it and thank you all for watching. Listen, guys, this is what I need you all to do. I need you to subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. Get my numbers up. Get my subscribers up. Um, I'm at 38. Thank you, guys, who all have subscribed. I appreciate it. Um, but tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a nurse, tell a CNA, tell a med aide, tell anybody in healthcare that likes to watch nursing videos and some family stuff too. Because I do it both. Um, but yeah, let's get my numbers up. Let's see. It is March. March is a long month. So come on, guys. We can get up to, let's see. Let's get up to 100. Let's do 100. That means we get 70 more uh, followers for this month. That will work. Or I think... I think I'm at 30. Anyway, maybe a little less, but let's get up to 100 followers this month. Guys, I know we can do it. All right. Until next time, y'all stay good. Be sweet. Love you. Bye-bye. I was there when needed someone who wasn't getting over you.